Well, here's the here's the completed field that's coming out of the garage building. Let me start off from back so you can get a perspective. There's the garage. There's the field. Ten holes. Ten wells. And then back into the, that's the whole circuit. And this is where they come up. This is the control board. There's an air bleed, there's a, 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 a baffle in here like this, so all the air will come up, get trapped up there. This is a bladder tank, maintains pressure on the system. Goes through, I have a little clear tube on there just for fun. And then in and out the pump, circulator pump. Over to the radiator. Back out to the field. Couldn't be simpler. Radiator. Going to have a uh, fan mounted on it. For openers, we're going to use this little box fan. It'll have the ability to be orientated like so. There'll be a hole in the wall there going out to the greenhouse. It'll be out there. Or if we want to just heat the garage, we're going to give it a 90 degree swing like that. Close the uh, chute out to the greenhouse. I imagine most of the time it's going to be like this. So that's it. Simple homemade geothermal system. About a thousand bucks, maybe. Maybe 800, I'm not sure. I didn't count the receipts yet. Got a little wiring to do. Gonna hook up the switch. Gonna hook up the fan. Got a Mount a box in here, put some red LEDs on it so I know that everything's powered up. Yeah, pretty simple. A 55 degree air conditioning during the summer. And get 55 degree heat when it's zero outside during the winter. How oh, cool. Thanks for watching.